there we are, there's the number for Trans Gran Canaria. 738, let's hope I get to the end. And this is the only chance you'll get to see this in the daylight because I will be crossing that line in, in the dark. It will be pitch black when I cross that finish line. So this is the nicest view you'll get of it with the sunshine. So here we are at the kids race. Elsa and Ellis are taking part. Three minutes to eight in the evening, race starts at 11. Where else would you rather be two hours before the start of a race than in Starbucks having coffee and with our new friend Toby? now four hours run and uh, about 28 kilometers so only a hundred kilometers left to do So we're at Fontanales, which is almost 40 kilometers into the race, over 2,000 meters of elevation climbed. Um, if you can see the map here, so we've done this bit here. So there's aid station one, aid station two. We're now at aid station three. So we've got one, two, at least three big climbs before we get to the top, to the highest point. And there are 88.7 kilometers left to run. So I've had some soup, I've had Coca-Cola, I'm gonna get some bread to walk out with, and I've just got a cup of coffee to drink. Um, I'm feeling okay, I'm struggling on the hills climbing, but I'm running all right. So the birds are singing, it's just getting light. It's probably far too dark for you to see it, but this valley is amazing down here below. So head torches are now off. We've got 80 kilometers to go. Beautiful valley that we've just dropped down into. Very technical descent though. Two and a half thousand meters climbed. Eight hours, 18 minutes on the clock.
stopped in a little cafe back in that village and bought myself a lemon fizzy drink. We are, I don't think we're halfway up the climb yet, we've got an 800 meter climb basically up to those rocks up there uh, to Roque Nuevo which you can't see, it's around the corner there. So I'm just having a rest for a minute. Okay, finally made it to the top. That is Roque Nuevo. And uh, we've got beautiful views, but I'm absolutely shattered. I've got 84 kilometers on my watch, 16 hours and 13 minutes. that it's cooling down uh, but my legs are shot still 20 miles to go um, it is now what time is it quarter to quarter to eight in the evening so we've been running for 20 hours and 40, 40 odd minutes. There's now a really steep descent down to the next aid station. Possibly the most technically difficult nine kilometers of my entire life. That was something else. I wish I could have shown you it because you just couldn't see anything in the dark. But we're finally at the second last aid station. So all we need to do now, grab a few things to eat quickly. We've got 350 meters left to climb up the side of a mountain there. And then it's down into Mas Palomas for the end of the race. I will be glad to see this over. That, that has been one hell of a second half. We've got about four kilometers to the finish. I was hoping to get in before 1 a.m., but I just don't think it's gonna happen. I'm just gonna miss it by a few minutes. Victoria and Elsa and Ellis are going to run in with me the last, the last 2k. Right, let's go. 
There's the medal. That was hard, hard, <coughs> hard work. Really hard work. Was it hard work? I'm almost dead. <laughs> so yeah. <coughs> right. That is it from the Trans Grand Canaria. 128k. Seven and a half thousand meters of elevation. Ultra. Uh, there were times when I wasn't sure whether I'd finish it. Actually, no, that's not. No, I always, I always knew bar something terrible that I would finish. But it was really, really tough, and there were times I didn't want to be there. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. See you for the next one, the next crazy adventure that me and Richard do, wherever that might be, whenever it might be. Take care. Bye bye. happy with that result it was a really competitive field and uh, gave it everything on the day so yeah I've, I've just worked really hard from the start I mean as we all do I guess in a race like that but put myself in a good position early on and just fought, fought really hard throughout the race to maintain it to try and build on it as much as possible and it paid off